Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. You know, some people can be so annoying. They are never, ever ready. And our brother Peter from our online Church of Love is getting ready to talk about that problem. We are in a dilemma, folks. You got some friends that never have enough gas. They run out of gas. They, they get to the restaurant. They can't pay their bill. There's always something. They never have a pen. Well, that's kind of like me. But anyway, yeah. So we always have some issues in life that we never seem to be ready for. And sometimes you want to say, didn't you know you were going to do this before you left the house? Yeah. Well, anyway, Peter's getting ready to share on this very problem. And only this problem becomes an eternal consequence. Listen to this. It gets deep. My name is Peter. I'm going to be talking about the parable of the ten virgins. And if you guys have your Bibles out, you turn to Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 through 13. I'm going to read real quick and I'm going to go over it. Then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Now five of them were wise and five were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise put oil in their vessels with their lamps. But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight a cry was heard, Behold, the bridegroom is coming, go out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps, and the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, No, lest there should not be enough for us and you. But go rather to those who sell and buy for yourself. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding, and the door was shut. Afterward, the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, I do not know you. Watch, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. What is this talking about? This talks about, well, first of all, this talks about the ten virgins. And so these people are all believers. All ten of them are from five of them were fuller and five of them were wise. Now, first off, this lamp creates light. And what light is, is Yeshua, or Jesus. So they all have Jesus in their life. And they also carry oil with their lamp. And the oil represents the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Amen. But what's the difference between the two? Right? If you look at verse 3, it says, The foolish took their lamps, and they took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. So the lamps had oil in it. However, the wise took extra oil with them. And what does, what does it mean to have extra oil? To have extra oil means to have the infilling of the Holy Spirit, which, which is different than just having the Holy Spirit from the beginning. Because right? all these people, they all accepted Jesus in their life. Right? They all said the prayer of salvation, and you know, they all asked for forgiveness. But that's just not the only thing you should do. Right? The, oil, the extra oil represents wanting to grow with God, with our Father. Wanting to have a relationship with Him. Seeking His face daily. Right? Um, digging into the Word. And getting to know Him. Putting Him on the number one on the list of one. I heard that from another person. Right? That's the kind of wise... That's what it means to be a wise virgin with extra oil. Every day you seek with them, then every day the Lord will fill you up more with the oil. Now, if we look at uh, verse 5, though, it says, While the bridegroom delayed, they all slumbered and slept. So, right now, that's what everyone's doing right now. Like, because it's, it just takes so long. Everyone thinks that it's, it's just a long time for the Lord to come. So now we're going to just do our own thing. We're going to be spiritually sleeping. We're all spiritually slumbering right now. You know? But all of a sudden, at midnight, there's a cry. Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go out and meet him. And what is this? It's the rapture. Right? If you look at uh, 1 Corinthians, oh no, 1 Thessalonians 
uh, 4, verse 16. It says, For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with the shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. So this, is, so this shout in here is the same thing as this shout in First Thessalonians 4, verses 16. And that represents the rapture. And when this time comes, right, there will be those who are ready and those who are not, right? Um, and, and when I think about, you know, the wise, when they say, you know, when the wise answered to the foolish, they said, no, lest there should not be enough for us and you, but go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. I'm thinking about um, a lot of times those who are in the churches, and they, they only depend on the pastors or the, the leaders of the church. They buy and sell from them what, you know, and that's why a lot of times they're foolish, you know. But in reality, we should buy from the Lord ourselves, each and every day by ourselves, seeking God. Um, if you look in chapter, oh no, in verse 11, it says, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Surely I say to you, I do not know you. In Matthew verse 7, no, Matthew chapter 7, uh, verse 21 to 23, it says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you practice lawlessness. So what is the moral of this parable? You know, the last verse is, Watch therefore, for you never know the day or the hour in which the Son of Man comes. Be prepared for the Lord. Seek Him each and every single day, right? As if you really want to get to know Him. You know, as if He is, you know, when you wake up and He's the first thought of your day. You know, and a lot of things, you know, and like, and I, you know, I, I pray to the Lord to, to ask Him what I should actually speak on today. And I think the reason why, he, you know, He told me to, like, or at least I, I felt like this is what He led me to is because this is something that I don't do every day. You know, I'm actually, sometimes I'm foolish and sometimes I'm wise. But in reality, you know, it's, it's, it's not a game, like, you know, in a sense. It's not something that we should put off. You know, because we don't know the day or the hour when the Lord comes. Be prepared for Him, and you will be a part of the bride, about part of the marriage supper. Something that all of us truly, truly want. But are we willing to be wise and seek it out before it's too late? Thank you.